So we're here with the Virch Electronic. So right here. So hello, so who are you? Hi, my name is Lauren Furke from Virch Electronics. I am uh, developing engineering for energy harvesting devices and uh, Virtual Electronics is a manufacturer of passive components. Today we have here a bunch of different uh, demo kits, so one from uh, analog device and silicon labs, which is demonstrate energy harvesting for vibration, solar and thermoelectric. And so where's the energy harvester here? Well, we have here a thermoelectric generator where I, I can put my hand and just by my body temperature start to power a 50 megahertz processor just using my body temperature. It's a very simple uh, thermoelectric uh, generator. Is it the inside. ARM Cortex M0 something? M0 ARM plus? Cortex M3 with a 50 megahertz uh, processor. You can see now it's running on Celsius or I can switch for Fahrenheit as well. How long will it last? Well, on the back side is a 100 microfarad capacitor bank and that was the reason why you need a little bit uh, to charge up. And this the soon, there? Yeah. This capacity, ceramic capacity bank, when it's empty, then it's running again uh, on nothing. But nice. same, How long it will last right now? Well, it depends on the refresh rate. Right now it's a refresh rate of uh, every 20 uh, milliseconds. So if I go down, it can run for hours. If I go... For hours? The, just touching a little bit? Yes, because it's grabbing something like yeah. a, a, already uh, 20 milliwatts. And 20 milliwatts is a lot because the processor himself in the deep sleep mode is just consuming 150 nanoamps. This is the first generation. The second generation, using also ARM Cortex M3 core, but he has built in an RF module where you can uh, grab all this information with the Bluetooth, uh, with, not the Bluetooth, with a dongle on the laptop, and you can transmit all the data by wireless. So the processor himself, the same die, have also the, the RF module. We have an A-Ink display on it, well, nice. you can see when I will switch on, you can see what is happening there. It's first time it will start to boot, and then it will tell you it will running on which chip. Right now it's running on the LTC 30T30, running on primary battery because there's no energy harvesting connected right now. But then you can connect solar panels or also thermoelectric generators as well, or just a very simple piezoelectric, also like this. Whoa. And now it can tell you here on the display, you can see it changed to the piezoelectric because solar was uh, not available. The light maybe from your uh, projector, it will be also powering enough. And the customer have the opportunity to use this expansion kit. He doesn't need to buy another chip or another processor. He just put his own sensor, whatever here on this expander kit. This is a, a shield board we tell and just connect above him and then he can just disconnect the main power from the, from the power supply and he can try his own development kit. This is like the, the Raspberry Pi connectors or something? Well, Arduino? Similar, but this is not compatible with Raspberry because his own protocol and his own, okay. own stuff. To do like other sensors or other yes, things? Yes, because you can do different uh, um, application. Here I have an application with the Texas Instrument chip. And this is with indoor uh, light. It's an indoor solar light, which is measuring also the light intensity, measuring the air pressure, uh, the temperature, the humidity, and even is giving the information to the AIM display like here, how much current it's, it's grabbing right now, what is the uh, power, what is the voltage, what is the temperature. And you can see as, as soon you move your light more to right hand, you will get much more energy on the current here you, you can see now you are generating already 600 microamps nice. with your light and this is just a simple led is this the vert uh, solar panel no from vert it's only just a passive component like which the one the capacitor the inductors the small ferrites this is coming from vert all the connectors the switch is coming from vert electronic you can see this is a very very tiny small choke here which the is H? Uh, yes which what does is, that do this is uh, just for storage the energy but energy storage, analog or what? It's a storage the, uh, the energy for uh, from the solar to make a DC-DC conversion. And now I can show you something much more spectacular. This is a completely DC-DC converter, which is containing the input capacitor, output capacitor, the inductor and the controller himself. This is a completely solution on one very, very tiny, small package. It so does. It does, what did you say, many a, things in one? A DC-DC converter, 
a completely solution for converting like like 5 volt to 3.3 volt. Is this the smallest in the world? Yes. The highest density and the smallest right now in the world. Are you the leader in this kind of technology? I would not say like we are the leader, but uh, this is a, a development which is um, quite very tiny and small and uh, I don't see anybody else right now on the market. Where Why would you something. put this? You know, if you have like a smartwatch and you don't have enough space inside or you make a, a small tiny sensor or you're doing electronic where space is very limited and you don't have uh, enough, uh, I would say, uh, space to make a DC-DC converter, this is the right solution. And can we power up to one amp? So right now it's a 600 milliamp on the market and the one amp will become to the electronica at latest. It's right now in development or uh, reliability tests. And so here you have a whole bunch of... Uh other there are some right other here? solutions with much, much higher power. We can go up to 6 amp, even to 10 amp. It's a transformer solution as well with 4 kilovolt or 1.5 kilovolt. Or just, you can see different packages here. A SIP package or a BGA package or F. And uh, on this wall over there, you're talking about uh, uh, all the energy harvesting solutions yes. that's going on? Correct. With uh, our solution you can make an electronic device which is running autonomously or if you use a, a battery like a backup battery you can extend the lifetime even up to 15 years or even more. What does it's, that mean? Like is it a solar panel that lasts so long? What do you mean 15 uh, years? Like if you have a backup battery you know you have a, a, a temperature sensor for uh, indoor and uh, with a solar indoor solar or with a um, thermoelectric, you can extend the lifetime of this backup battery. So the backup, backup battery will act only when you have no slide or you have no temperature difference. So you have a backup battery solution? No, we are offering with the analog device together kind of uh, power management, then it, it can uh, be used for 15 years or longer backup battery usage. Nice, and down here you're talking about the development kits? This is the development kit which you saw before yeah. with the RF model. And this is some other energy harvesting? No, all this containing for just for this uh, new generation of names Glenergy. If you go to our website we-online.com slash Glenergy, you can find all this application note, even the schematics and all this Glenergy. description. Glenergy. Glenergy. Glean, like, like collecting Glenergy. That's Glenergy. All right. So what, uh, what do you think about the ID Tech X show? Well, I'm not first time here. I'm I actually, I'm think a sixth time here in, in uh, ID Tech and I'm very satisfied. I like this show. I, I was uh, also in, in Santa Clara uh, exhibition in Berlin from the beginning on. And so it's a good one. It's a very specific for energy harvesting and all this printed electronics. So it's quite very nice.